This rich man is in a Nashville burn unit with life-threatening injuries. Fire officials say he was using gas to try and start a fire in a charcoal grill. Tonight, Sam Luther explains how you can avoid dangerous mistakes ahead of the busy holiday week. Sam. Josh Latricia, that man has burns on about 25 to 30 percent of his body, according to Chief Mike Williams in Eastridge. One way to avoid being burned is knowing what kind of heat you're dealing with for your 4th of July grilling. A first degree burn can happen at 118 degrees. So this grill right here sitting at 200, you can get a first degree burn right off of it just by touching the hot surface of it. A level of heat that turned dangerous for the East Ridge man at this home on Tuesday. The fire chief says a man here tried to light a charcoal grill with gasoline, causing severe burns and this damage. Chuck Hartung with the Chattanooga Fire Department says if a flame breaks out while you're grilling. Never what you want to do is try to pick up the pot that's flaming and try to walk with it because the flame will go up your arm and you'll end up dropping whatever's on fire and spreading it. And before you fire up the grill. A good clean grill is probably the safest grill to be using. Hartung says the location of your grill is also key to keeping everyone safe. A grill should be at least 10 feet from any combustible surface. It should not be under cover of a combustible surface. If you have inclement weather, for goodness sakes, do not pull your grill into your garage and use it. Back on South Seminole Drive, a neighbor says grilling is a family tradition, but this is the first time he's ever seen anyone get injured from this summertime favorite. Well, we've done it since I was about, as long as I can remember, it's been about even Thanksgiving we'll grill out, Christmas. Fourth of July, New Year's. The Chattanooga Fire Department also advises you don't wear loose clothing and always use oven mitts and grilling tools while grilling. Latricia. Sam, thank you. According to Nashville's burn unit, the East Ridge man is now in stable condition.